ValueTrade is creating a new asset class for professional investors and is creating a new, reliable, and cost-effective source of funding for both small and large corporates. In doing so, we address a market failure. On one side, we've got investors that would like to get exposure to trade finance transactions, but find it complex and sometimes expensive. On the other side, we've got corporates that rely almost exclusively on banks' funding to finance their exports. And sometimes this can be expensive and not even available. So how do we do this? We have created an online marketplace for discounting of trade receivables. And why does this matter? Well, for two reasons. First, trade is the engine that fuels Asian economies. And second, discounting of trade receivables is a huge three trillion US dollar global market. My name is Gianluca Pizzituti, and I am the CEO and co-founder of VeloTrade. Right, so let's start uh, our demonstration by logging in as a corporate treasurer looking to discount uh, trade receivables. Our platform provides a number of sophisticated features for both corporates and investors. For the purpose of this presentation, I'm gonna show you how easy it is for a corporate to discount the trade receivables and for the investors to invest in it. Let's start. So, my auctions, create auction. So, as you can see, pretty straightforward and easy to understand interface, only two tabs. The debtor information tab and the invoice data tab. So, let's suppose our corporate has sold goods to a European retailer, say, ABC Limited. So, in this case, the debtor is already in our system, so the fields will self-populate. Let's move to the invoice data tab. So let's suppose the corporate has sold goods for a million US dollars. Payment terms, 90 days. So this means that without value trade, the corporate would need to wait 90 days before it receives the payment. With value trade, however, the corporate can receive immediately 800,000 US dollars now and the remaining 200,000 US dollars when the debtor pays for the goods. Right, so after the, the fields uh, are completed and a few documents are, are attached, uh, the seller, so the, the, the corporate, has created a draft of the auction that we need to be vetted by VeloTrade before it can go live. Robin Walzer, our CTO, will continue to the mobile app from this web-based interface where we left off, as the two interfaces are synchronized and fully fungible. Thanks, Gianluca. As mentioned, we can now proceed managing the auction either by using our web-based front-end or a mobile application. I'm going to use our mobile application to show you how easy it is to interact with our platform at any time in any place. So for the purpose of this presentation, uh, let's assume that VeloTrade has already vetted on the auction and the corporate treasurer, ha treasurer has approved the details. Once this important validation has been done on both sides, the auction will be listed on our platform, ready to, be, ready to be purchased by an investor. Now, let's switch to my mobile application on my smartphone, where I'm currently logged in as a corporate entity. And as you can see, I just received a notification from VeloTrade that my auction is live. I can now check the details. And from here onwards, I'm capable of monitoring the status of my auction and if there is an update, I will be notified immediately. Now, let's switch over to my tablet where I'm currently logged in as an investor. And here you see I also received a notification that a new auction is available for purchase. Now, the reason why I received this notification is because in my app's notification settings, I specifically set the criteria that will inform me if there is an auction available with a minimum yield of 5% and a minimum purchase amount of 500,000 US dollars. Now let's at the look at the details. And as you can see here, I'm provided with a lot of information. And if I want to bid on this auction, it's as simple as hit bid this auction, select the purchase amount, choose buy now. And with a simple verification of my fingerprint, followed by a final confirmation of the purchase amount, 
I will have successfully bid on the auction. Now both investor and corporate will receive a notification that the auction is settled. And now the transfers are, beckoning in the background, are happening in the background and the funds will be immediately available to the corporate to use. Great. So why is this interesting? Well, what you've just seen here, taking three minutes in a traditional financial institution, it would take three weeks. Also, from an investor point of view, only three clicks, and he was able to gain exposure to this new asset class that it would have been otherwise hard, if not impossible, to trade. We are not doing this on our own. We are at the center of an ecosystem that comprises receivables investors, our current insurer, which is Euler Hermes, and a number of commercial investment banks looking to access our platform. Right. So, in conclusion, we are interested in talking to financial institutions who want to partner with us, receivables investors who want to invest through Velotrade, and venture investors who want to invest in Velotrade. Thank you.